welcome dear friends so now let's go and explore inside them um, the old Haveli and uh, let's discover together the life of the nephew of the Maharaja Nonehal Singh and uh, this Haveli was built by his grandfather for him in 1830s and as you can see the out outer view of this Haveli this is the main terrace this is called Jarokai Darshan from where the Nonehal Singh could uh, view his subjects gathered below yeah, so can you see all the beautiful statue of a little uh, crocodile and uh, inside uh, the um, palace is full of beautiful frescoes and painted uh, all around, still very well preserved. But now we are going to discover at the top on the roof a very special room. Yes, this is the room which we told you in the last video, so now we will discover this room. Yes, inside we will enjoy the everyday life of the nephew of the Maharaja and his wife through the beautiful frescoes that are describing his life and uh, all the activities that they were doing together. Can you see the room is full of these frescoes and the colors are perfect. Everything uh, is preserved in the best way here inside. Yes, and the, the guardian they told us they are always keeping this room closed and locked because this is the only place which is preserved in a well, well, well mannered way. Yeah, the roof uh, is also perfect uh, and uh, the wood uh, can see, you can see on the wood still the colors of the frescoes. Yes, yeah, it's made with wood and glass and uh, paint. Let's start our journey in the everyday life uh, and uh, let's meet our characters. So you can see the nephew of the Maharaja with his uh, wives, three of them, and the green one is the first probably, so she's the most important one. And can you see outside, uh, Lahore was full of plants and trees, a lot of uh, green uh, all around, and the uh, peacocks. Uh. So here, yeah, the main portrait of the nephew of the Maharaja with his first wife dancing with him. It's so beautiful. Look at them pointing, uh, watching the same direction. And of course, this is uh, really from the traditional uh, art of India. Their position is really like uh, Shiva and Parvati. And the statue are from the Lahore Museum. So. Of course, uh, the nephew no Nihal Singh was depicted uh, as uh, a true god uh, with his wife. These frescoes are the representation of the joys of the physical love. So here you can see again the prince with uh, very beautiful dresses uh, and uh, look now at this beautiful scene of love. Really, the wife is showing herself and her body calling uh, the prince who is sitting uh, in the bed how do you call the traditional bed? Charpai. Charpai. the decoration are really beautiful the details of the flowers uh, garofanos and iris uh, are really beautiful and there are also some birds you know inside can you see the black yeah. birds and the yellow one little birds everywhere they were covered, you know, with the full of nature. Uh, here we can see the main uh, painting of uh, the first wife with uh, No Nihal and other wives. They are all together here. So five wives, most of them, uh, they have um, beautiful dresses uh, and some musical instruments in their hand. So this is a family portrait. Yes, you can say. <laughs> they were enjoying music evening at the top. Yeah, on the roof. And all around again the forest of Lahore. Eyes in eyes, their expression is uh, so deep. And probably this is a symbol also of the family, the double trident. So, on these other frescoes, yeah, finally the nephew is dancing uh, with a lot of grace uh, and wives are playing music for him with uh, sitars yes, and the traditional kind of sitars. instruments then again we can see no niha is like uh, no sita is sita like ganesh 
when his wife is watching up, he's really enjoying life and watching her like uh, again, no? like a, a divinity, like a god. Look at his uh, eyes watching uh, his wife in green against the first wife while she is um, keeping her veil because maybe it's very windy and all around again many objects and food uh, and the old Lahore mosque huh? yes I believe you know, in, in that age the artists they were very very great artists with full of creation and uh, imagination and creativity mm -hmm. yeah this is the uh, Lahore mosque yes they, they showed Lahore mosque in this you can see also now and again here with a beautiful umbrella this is also a very important portrait uh, of uh, Nonihal with a flute like Krishna. Can you see the legs are in the same position of many, many portraits of Krishna. His wife is keeping the umbrella for him. And also a beautiful peacock uh, is dancing uh, with them. How do you say in Urdu? Mor. Mor. So... Um, can you see again uh, this representation is uh, from the traditional uh, sculpture of a uh, hinduist this is krishna with the leg uh, always bent and playing the flute for radha his wife one of his many wives also but the main one so now here they are uh, eating together and drinking together the wife is um, refreshing him with uh, this fan and there are some guests also. I think he is uh, Ranjit Singh. You see? His grandfather, maybe. It can be. Because he the, had the beard like this. The city on the background, full of trees uh, and domes. Uh, so full of colors. Probably the sky would have been so green at that time. <laughs> Here again, another moment of dancing. Can you see how often dance is represented? And uh, yeah, maybe you're right. Maybe here we have um, the grandfather who came to visit them, and the wives are uh, serving know, him and uh, taking care of him. Like yeah, taking care about him, refreshing him with uh, the fan, and, and serving him fruits in the tray. Yeah. And here, again dancing, this time also the wife is dancing with uh, Noniha. She is also bringing some fruit. Every representation is full of abundance. The dresses are always different of wives, full of details and jewelry. They have uh, the ring in their nose and many jewelry in uh, earrings, uh, necklace. Look at the colors of dresses. Probably the texture, the fabric was uh, very rich and precious. Here they are pointing. We are uh, no, always on the terrace. They are pointing uh, a bird, probably mm. who got lost. It's night. Yes, they're pointing on maybe ah, on the maybe sky. They're the watching the moon. Moon and the stars. And the stars. All together. Always uh, the, um, the skin of the men uh, is dark uh, and uh, the skin of uh, women is white. Also nowadays uh, this is um, a tradition that women uh, really want to um, to be white. Yes, and they are clarifying uh, in yes, Asia. Yes, in Asia, yes, it is like this. Mm. And here it's a beautiful uh, scene in which it's raining. Can you see? And the servants are also. We can see how they were protecting from the rain. They had very big mantles. Uh, somebody is uh, under the, the trees, uh, the, yeah, the leaves. Under the leaves. But uh, the, mm -hmm, our uh, protagonist uh, is taking care of all his wives, and all together they are repairing under his big mantle. <laughs> there are also cows around, uh, they are uh, in the countryside, in the forest. Uh. So his skin was quite dark, uh, because also the servants are white. white yes. mm -hmm. It's very interesting. He has very big uh, earrings. And he's also painted mm -hmm. like a very big guy. Very tall. To yes. His wife, of course, he's the one who gives protection to women.
so here maybe they are playing they are doing some activity hmm? they are playing hide and seek maybe yeah 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 he's keeping the eyes closed to somebody yes and everybody is hiding themselves yeah yeah They are still outside, so we can see how they were enjoying uh, life um, in the, the free time uh, in the countryside. There are always the beautiful cows and a lot of um, trees. Uh, and also people, they are climbing, the trees, you know, yes, the trees. Everybody is the trees. Uh, yes. hiding themselves. <laughs> Here we are back on the terrace, and uh, yeah, he is another guest. Mm, he is not anymore the grandfather, but uh, he is a very important man who is bringing some um, or some message, maybe some, some letter. Message, yeah, he seems a spiritual man. He's yes. also keeping. Uh, yes. Uh, yes, tasbi in Urdu called tasbi. I don't know in English. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah, for doing japa, for doing the reciting of the mantras, yes. and the. One wife, the main wife, is reading the letter, and the others are. Um, yeah, so those are sitting in a very attentive way. Yeah. Right? They are observing very carefully what is happening. And again, they are showing uh, the surroundings. Yeah, and also the palace, we can see how it was decorated uh, all, ar all uh, around uh, the terrace. And here we can see the fountain that we have seen uh, now, no, in the terrace, uh, how it was working with uh, flowing of the water. And all together here, they are maybe playing. There is a little table. And this was the main uh, outside uh, balcony. Balcony. Yes. Yes. Jaroka. Jaroka of the terrace. The, um, our friend and Noni Hal is sit on the chair and his wife uh, is uh, always uh, taking care about him. He's also a little dog. Uh. Yeah, <laughs> yes they have. <laughs> yeah, it seems like uh, they are playing, uh, she has a musical instrument in her hand, the sitar. And here again it seems uh, they are dancing. When they are dancing there is always, uh, can you see, the leg uh, is bent. It's bent and... Um, Maybe there are umbrellas for also creating scenarios. And you can see how they are representing uh, the dancing scenes. And now the wives are uh, going inside, but one is calling the other. But she is pointing to something. We don't know what is happening there. There are some uh, deer. deers <laughs> on the terrace. So they are keeping a lot of animals in the palace. And she's pointing to something, uh, actually we, we don't know. Who knows? This is the mystery, huh? Right? <laughs> yes. And the scene is going on. Now the wife is alone. Actually these frescoes are not very much. Yeah, there are some birds. Yeah, maybe she lost her pigeon. Hmm? her own uh, pigeon. Maybe she, she told her uh, I lost my, my birds uh, and she's pointing them. Here again they are playing uh, for sure. This is the play. Yeah, it's a kind of game. Yeah, this okay. is a kind of game. Uh, together they are playing uh, only their three wives. Yeah, it's like with some... Um, mm, some numbers and yeah. some beads. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And here again, a lot of wind is coming. The veil is uh, flying, and uh, probably the, the wife here is going back uh, inside uh, the house. Look at the beautiful veil, uh, so transparent. How it is created, you know, the, the motion of the wind blowing, and on the back, the, the mosque of Lahore. And here, instead, on the balcony, there is a uh, the nephew of the Maharaja and with, Peacock. With Peacock. He's keeping something in his hand. What is that? A cage? Mm. No, there are some uh, cages for pigeons. 
because uh, no people used to keep many pigeons uh, in cages and uh, they, they made them flying. We can, we can see also nowadays people uh, have the same hobbies. Can you see the cages? Um, and look at here, uh, their shoes of the nephew of the Maharaja made by wood. So thank you very much uh, friends uh, for this uh, nice journey with us uh, inside the everyday life of the sexy nephew of the Maharaja and his wife. Look at him again here, his uh, sight uh, very full of uh, peace and love for um, his wife. And uh, let's enjoy, like him, many other adventures inside the Pakistan and the whole Lahore. We have many more videos, you can follow us on our YouTube channel, Voice of Twenty. See you soon! See you soon! Bye-bye! Bye-bye! Assalamu alaikum!